This was just like a little community where we had like about a handful of people who got it. We were too rock and roll to play a punk rock show sometimes, or we were too punk rock to play the rock and roll show. Don't say punk rock. You know, from like 84 to like 90, it's like, play rock and roll. We had a sound that people liked. Boom. It made sense to me. They rocked. They had a good band in an area of the country where chickens came. It's far more risky to be different than the people that are around you. Was it punk? No. Was it heavy metal? No. It really showed a lot of promise. It was grunge. Well, they could definitely go somewhere. They had such a culture uh, of themselves and they had a fan base. The largest serious alternative band on the Eastern Shore. I mean, we had a great demo. We had some momentum and just kind of, what happened to the Weasel? Just like old times, my friends. It's a true reunion. Of course, I had to go get a drum kit. Go buy a drum kit. I still get butterflies. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. See, I got one more, one more gig in me. From the Eastern Shore, the band you've been waiting 20 years to hear, Red Weasel. The friendship, you know, it, it transcended the band. It was us again. Damn, they were a good band. <laughs> you know?